Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to Resident Evil. Now we've just learned a whole lot about Mia's past and we're trying to find Evelyn to see if we can either end this or get to the bottom of this mystery because we discovered that Mia works for whatever company is behind Evelyn. Either Evelyn was created or Evelyn was born a certain way, I'm not entirely sure. And this, oh man, this is where the dude died. Ooh. Are those his... Ooh. Are those his remains? Should I be worried about... What is that? Oh, this is that thing that I saw. E-neck toxin. Destroy C any subj. E-S biodel. Only sal of acids. Must first be stir before do this. Placing a sample into the necr... Vin container. I don't know what that means, but okay. I'm gonna do my best. Hello? Ah. I vaguely remember now. I had already gone through here. Wasn't this a thing? Hello? Hello? I don't know if I'm supposed to be opening this, but I'm. my mom always told me to open random objects whenever I doth see them. Can I get back? Yep, I can. Let me just go over here because I'm pretty sure that the save point was over here. Or was it not? It was not. It was not. It was not. There you ooh. That's right. Oh, I don't have a lockpick. I can blow it open with a handgun. Ooh, machine gun ammo. Am I gonna get that? Am I gonna get a machine o gunno? Ooh, chem fluid, okay. I'll take that. But I do only have one bullet to my name on this lovely device. Looks broken. Well, that's what I used before. To send the message to Ethan, and I still have to find Ethan. So I got two ways to go here. I could either go through here or go up the ladder. Ooh. That guy has devolved. Yeesh. Dissolve, devolve. Do I have any melty juice? No, I do not. Okay, so I need to go up the ladder to wherever the hell that leads and hopefully get off this ship because I have a funny feeling it's going to blow up again. Wait, did I open that? Have I seen that before? Yeesh. Whoa, man, it's so easy to miss stuff around here, even if it's right in front of my face. Then again, I am a blazing idiot, so don't pay no mind when I don't see anything that I need to see. I don't think I can open it, can I? No, not yet. Okay, so going up the ladder, I bet there's a jump scare waiting for me at the tip top of this. Hopefully it's a jump scare with a gun that goes right into my hand and then shoots the thing that's scaring me. That'd be awfully convenient. I sure do love Deus Ex Machina. I need to play the newest game. I haven't done that yet. Uh, hello. Okay. Well, this seems decrepit. Just like everything else here. So, it's my understanding that this ship has been shipwrecked for two straight years, and yet no one has come after it? Ooh. Hello, where am I now? Whoa. Yeah, this, this ship has been shipwrecked for two years. Two years. Has there been no extraction team? Has there been no asset reclamation team? Has there been nothing? Maybe it still works. It seems to still be working. The screen is on. But I just can't fathom that there would be no one there. That's where I was. Oh boy, I'm about to get a spook, ain't I? I'm about to see behind me and it's gonna... Whoa. Ethan! 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 I hope I make it in time. I hope so too. Hope nothing is behind okay. me. Bottom level. Bottom level. Okay, that's a long way to go for a husband. But I guess he loves me. <laughs> hey, fucking hi! Stop it, Evelyn! Okay, you're not real. I got cured. You can't... Do anything to me. Fucking hallucinations. Yeah, uh-huh. Where is she? So she's not actually real. I'm willing to guess that she's a physical or not really a mental manifestation of what this fungus is. It's somehow... No, but that can't be right either because she was sent to babysit someone. So she was literally babysitting someone. So either this girl really does exist and can project herself all over the place, which is an apt description, I would believe that 100%. Or, and I need to mix up some bullets. Do I need both? Yeah, I need both. I'm gonna need both for this. Thank you. Or, or she's literally the fungus and has spread her entire body throughout the entirety of this state and is taking over more and more. Because they mentioned that she vomited. And when they said she vomited, I'm assuming that means she is expunging this, uh, grossness everywhere. 
right. I'm just trying to look for absolutely anything here of use, but I don't see... I see next to nothing that's gonna help me in my endeavors. Or either that or I'm missing it and it's right in front of my face. I don't know. I would believe both, but I gotta get down to my hubby. My hubby is down below and he's... Very not doing too good. Yeesh. If he wasn't infected already, he's gotta be infected by now. Hello. Ooh, gun! Can I... Oh, I don't have the captain's key. Oh, man, I want that horrible gun. At least it had more bullets than what I got. Oh, log wrench. I can use that on the, uh... On the, uh, elevator thing. Ship map, that'll be useful. Where am I going? Captain's cabin over there. I can make my way backwards a bit. Alright, anything here of use? Anything at all? Please give it to me. I need resources so badly. Alright, carrying on. And I can only assume that I am now perpetually immune to the bullshittery that is the bullshit. Oh, fuck. Okay, so I could go back down right now. I'm just not gonna. Not yet, anyway. I gotta find out if there's anything else useful on this floor. Because I don't think I've been over here yet. I must be at the tip toppy of this place. Ooh, is that a pipe bomb? I'll take that, yes, please, thank you. Drop that in my back butt. Uh, anything else over here? I can't go down there. Now I can jump down and take the log nut off the elevator hatch. Ah! Ow, my ankles! I'm not immune to damage anymore, I think. Because that, fung that fungus was the only thing that was keeping me alive after the axe wound in my neck and the multiple bullet wounds to my entirety. Hello, thank you. Can I go down, please? Yes, yes, yes. I'd like that very much. Whoa, okay then. Ew. The fuck? Okay. Yeesh. Oh, I don't know what that is. Oh, it's missing a cable and like a whoa. Hello. You wanna mess with me, huh? You wanna mess with me? Huh? Whoa. Climb up or climb down? Well, I hear danger up there, so I'm gonna climb up because I like to head on danger. I'm gonna apply bullets directly to its forehead. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this back into my original confirmation here. Put this in four. Alright, that's good. If I can just get a machine gun, if I can just get the captain's key, I should be able to get the machine gun. Ooh. You are going down, mister. Oh, you got no arms. Oh, I'm sorry. Sucks to suck ass. Oh, hey, 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 mister no arms. Not like you can do anything. Whoa. Hey, you came out of nowhere. Don't wave at me. Stumpies. Ha, 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 ha. You die just as easily as when Ethan kills you. Because I've had the fungus in me. I know what kills you, dude. Hello. Any captain? Oh. This is where that dude that I can't remember the name of was. Yeah. If Ellen, Evelyn remains at her current location, she's high risk of being stolen. This is the same message that was there before. So there's nothing new there. That has literally been here since... Whoa, why can't I move? There we go. Okay, I'll take that. Thank you, yes. Corrosive, I'll take that. Thank you, yes. Oh, yeah! Good thing you're not booby-trapped. Good thing you're giving me bams. I sure do like bams. I unlocked it. Goody goody gumdrops, what's over here? Alright, so upstairs. Upstairs is where I came from. I don't think I'm quite done here because I want to explore like the jumpy area and see what's happened since the last time I left this. Because I went through all this in my memory and I gotta remember where I went in the memory and where I went in the real game. Because if I get them mixed up, I'm just gonna die horribly. Like I always do. Couch cushions? What is this? It won't open. Can I corrosive it? Okay, so this obviously ties into some sort of system here. Oh, is it about the... Oh, it's with the paintings. Oh, okay. Ta-da! Oh, I got it! I'm so smart. What have we got? Ooh. Okay, that's good. There's got to be a lot of corrosive elements that I can get special items out of. Not that I think I need that many special items, but at least having some extra goodies won't be too bad. Christmas came early for me this year. Oh, I can't crawl anymore. Again, it's a little too slappy for my tastes. Hey, fuck! I said it was too slappy, you bitch! Stop being such a asshole! God stop it! Ah! No, you don't. Yeah, don't do it. Ring around the rosy. Pockets full of fuck you. Ah, fuck off. Miss me. Tables are really hard to comprehend, huh? All right, suck ass and suck you. All right, uh, continuing on. It's not blocked up anymore. Okay.
You want to explain to me the random string quartet? I mean, I much appreciate being followed by that for the four years, almost five years I've been doing YouTube, but hey, fuck off with you. You fucking asshole, that's what you were doing. Look, I get it, you want to show off your string skills. Your violin is very impressive, but f just not right now, okay? What are you doing? Uh, dying? Uh-huh. Whoa! Ow! How about you get slipped? Uh-huh. Oh. oh no, your big ass mouth and your fucking grody crawling everywhere. Just stop that, I gotta kill you all with fucking knife. Which I'm okay with. I've gotten pretty good at killing you assholes. Alright, what do we got here? Bams? I need to use these bombs. Hey! Yes! Okay, good! I couldn't have gotten that without corrosive, so that's very, very good for me. Finally, just as I was about to give up hope. That just goes to show never give up on your dreams. Ooh, that's goopy. Well, that's a whole lot of gooping. Oh, no! They found my stash of goop juice! I needed that for private time! Yeah, fine. Fuck off, then. Use this, then. All right, Kerchonkers! Hey, hey, come on! I see you there. Where the fuck is this guy? There you go, dead. All right, well, I'm in trouble. Whoa, Whoa hey, come on now! Don't give me no sass! Okay, so aiming for these guys' heads didn't work too well for me, and he's got a vagina in the back of his mouth. That's fucking gross. But anyway... So, the aiming at these guys' heads didn't work out too well for me last time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to aim for their bodies, and then hopefully that's going to do me a bit better than it had before. And I've got a lot of BAMs. What am I going to do with all these BAMs? All right, I'm going to jump down here. BAM! Hope I don't explode as soon as I hit anything precarious. Fucking don't. Fucking don't. Fucking don't. All right, let's do this. Okay, we finally done dilly dally. I think so. Now I gotta get down to the bottom of the business, which means I gotta go downstairs. Which means I gotta go through... I know there was probably one more corrosive door upstairs, if I remember correctly, but... I'm not gonna backtrack to that one. I know there's probably something amazingly good there, but... I just don't have time. It's time to go down. So... Well, f Did I really need that? Did I really need that? Is that what you think I needed? Is that what you think I need? How many times have I accidentally done that? Please comment down below how many times I've wasted goop juice just because I've got an addiction. A crippling addiction to goopy juicy. Alright, come on. I appreciate the atmospheric music, but I just want to fuck these guys up. Yeah. Oh, shoot him in the body and that works out much better, huh? Okay, well that's good to know. Don't aim for the fucking head, it's bad news. Hey, you? Hey, how about you? Alright, never mind then. How about anybody in here? Ooh, Psycho Stim, you Lance. I'll take that. What's this? It's too late for us, but at least I can let the world know what happened here. I was on shift yesterday, so I was taking a nap in the bunk room around noon. I was half asleep and I heard a kid, a little girl, laughing. Or was it all in my head? I woke up at 1930. There was some sort of ruckus in the pack. Hey, fucking! Whoa! Whoa! I thought that door was closed. Thanks for visiting me and giving me a right spook. Anyway, Drew, one of the engineers, came in and said there was something going on down below, maybe a riot. He looked pale in the face. He told me he was going down to check it out, but he never came back. It must have been around 1950 when I heard the scream. I went to the laundry room to check and saw Clark being eaten by some sort of blackish monster. The monster turned and started coming towards me, huge, sharp-like teeth snapping in its jaw. I just screamed like a little girl and ran for it. Now I'm huddled up in the bunk room, shaking as I write this. There's a whole host of those creatures lurking in the passageways now. I can still hear screams now and then, but there's no way I'm going out there now. And that's it. I've written everything I know. Giovanni Fanetti, who is now daddy. Giovanni Fanetti is really, really daddy. Okay, anyway. Gotta get this sliced over. <laughs> okay. There's first aid mat that I'm gonna use. It's a lot of noise. <laughs> Fucking stop, okay? I get it. You wanna spook me. I get it. I'm spooked. Fine. Fuck off. You've spooked me enough this game. 
Dear Janet, hey, how's it going? I guess half a year or so will have passed by the time you get this letter. Life is so boring here, day after day, the same old sea. Although there is one thing that's different. This time we have some passengers sailing with us, which hardly ever happens. It's a couple with a little girl. I think they're distant relatives of a captain. Imagine traveling on a tanker instead of a passenger ship. They must be hard up. I tried talking to the little girl earlier, and her dad shot me this nasty look. What's he so worried about? Now that I think about it, the captain said he didn't even have any relatives. Maybe I'm overthinking this. I miss, I miss you. Love, Jim, who is now also dead. And or a goop monster. Here, yes, please. Are those bees? Is that the sound of bees? Gosh, I hope not. Hello, bees? Whoa, backpack, hell yeah. Oh, shit, dude. Oh, fuck yeah, bruh. Oh, fuck yeah, bruh. All right, got that, got herb. Holy shit, I hit the mother load. Anything in here? So I go Samuel and tell- Oh, I already went through here. Ah! Ah! Fuck it! Ah! Ah! Stop! Stop, please! Ah, who's that? Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? Don't do that again! Climb up! Come on! Climb up! Climb! God, every time it goes into cutscene mode, I think something's gonna jump out at me. Alright, so we got a fuse. That's at least good news. But we don't have wires, so I gotta find wires somewhere. The cable is completely fried. We have a replacement. We have to use it to fix something in the 3F sick bay. You're gonna have to do ask Dr. Waddle for it. Need to go down to number two engine room, but I can't get down there unless we get this thing working. Oh! I can get to. Uh, uh, I can get to number three through the staircase here. Because. Yeah, I can get to number three through the staircase and then I climb up. I didn't think there was gonna be anything on that level, but I didn't look carefully enough. Okay, so I just gotta go over there. Karaduski! Excuse me. Pardon. This cable? Oh, this is where the corrosive was! Oh! Whoa, hey, no you don't! No you don't, no you don't! No, that's right. Fall over and die, you asshole. Man, those die a lot quicker from these bullets than the small, very quick ones do. I don't know why that is, but it is. Oh, and I got a lockpick for this thing. Let's go for that one. Hodooski, it's so nice to have so much bag space. Oh, that's useless as shit. Now that the, the thing is gone. Okay, in here, please. Open says Mia! Come on. Hodooski. All right, what have we got here? Man, I can't believe that we would have needed that to move the plot forward. Because otherwise, what would you have done? Oh, shit. This is where it all blew. Oh, fuck, dude. Oh, fuck, dude. Yeah, you would have thought that, like, the EPA or some form of government would have been all over this thing, but it's just like a black site. Literally and figuratively. It's just completely disavowed, and why? Why was it? Oh, boy. Oh, shit. Well, this looks bad. Any, any goodies? Any goodies? Ooh, is that a bathroom stall? I don't like that. Oh, that's a goopy one. Well, that's a extra goopy one. Fuck, dude. All right. Sheesh. Well, I found the medical bay. That's for damn sure. Good thing I got this chem. What we got here nothing. Oh boy. Right, just taking a. Hey! What the fuck was that? Oh my god. Okay. Get bammed, bitch. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm gonna detonate the fuck out of you. Come on, come on, you wanna fight? Step on my bam! No, 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 step on my bam. Step on, step on my bam. Step on my bam! Step, step on it! Oh. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Oh, get that there. Oh, fuck. Gonna get the fucking open, oh god. Oh, fuck. Where you at? Whoa, fucking whoa. Surprisingly effective. Boom! Are you still alive? I guess that's a no then! Alrighty then. Good thing I had BAMs. BAMs. Man, if Ethan had BAMs, he would have done much better. Lucas was hagging all the BAMs. Oh, these must be the wires. Okay, good. That makes my life easier. Okay. That one. These are slow and ominous and makes me think bad things are going to happen. Can I have that? Thank you. Thank you very much. Don't know whether that turned off 
but why it needed to be there. And I've got the fuse already in the elevator, so that should mean that it's working and I can get down to Ethan. I don't know if that's gonna actually be Ethan's saving this, but you know, we're gonna hope for the best here. That's all I can do. All right, Booski, put that in there. We're good to go, baby, we're good to go! Oh shit, okay, all right then. I'm gonna take a stop here and go back to my box first, you know. My good old friend, the green box. And hopefully my friend's gonna be able to give me something good. I hope Ethan doesn't turn into a horrible monstrosity and then I have to kill Ethan. That would be sad. <laughs> but what game would do that? You know, this is a happy, fun, friendly game with happy, fun, family friend funness. With fun friends! And happy, happy, fun, friendness. Friend funning. Okay, let's go down! Hooray! I'm, I'm chasing my memories here. Yee boy. Yo boy! Yibbity be boy! It's amazing how just a wire and a fuse makes an elevator just to. Fuck you, Evelyn. Come on, you think you're still creepy, you're just not. Alright. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Oh, ding dong, bing bong, you're really scary. Alright, what else we got? I wish I had some psycho stimulants. Seems like you want me to hurry through this, but I'm not gonna play your game. I'm gonna take a slow ass time and then make everybody at home mad at me. Oh fuck, dude! I see that. I see you. I see you over there. Where you think you're dropping, huh? Where you think you're gonna drop, huh? Nowhere. That's where. Strong cam. You know what I'm gonna do with this strong cam? Fucking stupid face with it, huh? No, oh, no. Are you dead? Not yet. Oh, how about now? Still dead, okay. I'm keeping a sharp whoa wait. <laughs> Keep not sharp enough. Not sharp enough, I Yabba do. Boy, this, this is much more effective when you just shoot him in the body and hope for the best. That's like barely any bullets at all comparatively. Oh boy, another bam! I'm gonna use that to great effectiveness. Super effective against big guys anyway. Hello? Any uh any bad boys? Heard there might be some bad boys on this on this level here. No, 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 no. I didn't want any bad boys. I said there might be bad boys down here. I'm a brave boy. I don't mess with bad boys. Making my way downtown. Oh boy, more bombs. Am I gonna need them? I bet yes. All right, what else we got here? Oh, more bam! I fucking love these bams. Oh, ammo! Great! It's everywhere I thought it would be. Someone put more. Somehow. Santa came by and delivered presents early on this boat. No. Stop. No, 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 no. That's bad. No, no, that's bad. No, 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 no. All right, what else we got? Oh, boy. Oh, it's big guy. Hey, I, I got every present. How about this? Oh, whoa. Really? Just, that's it? That's all it takes these days? Boy, you, you are, you're a wimpy. You're wimpier than I remember you being. I used to be afraid of- Oh, you're dead. What? Shit, dude. Just two bullets? Two bombs? That gets you? I should take this back then. Man, I was willing to spend three bombs on you, and that's all you give me? Shit, dude. But I'm willing to bet there's a boss battle coming up. Ah, oh, Sugoi. Kawaii. Oh, Kawaii Desu. What's going on here? I don't know. Hello? Okay, what good does that do me now? I can't spend any in Zoe's magic shack. Here? Oh. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll come back later. So hang on one second. I know you're excited and all, but hold on. <laughs> Evelyn just was like, oh, hey. Oh, oh, okay, all right then, I guess, all right. Uh, da, 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 da. You ready for me now? You want me to come back? You good? Should I come to you? You okay? Just gonna scan. One last look. All right, okay. I'm going in. I'm a brave boy. I've conquered my fear. How about no? How about fuck you? Whoa. All right then. That amounted to nothing. Could, Mia, could you stop moaning for one second here? You gotta, gotta act civilize for Ethan here. Hi, Ethan. How you doing? Ooh, cutscene time. Ethan. 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 
Uh oh. Hey, shh, shh. I know, I know, I know. I'm not gonna hurt you. Whoa. What hey, the I fuck? never would have if I could have helped you. What do you mean? I'm no killer, son. Neither is Marguerite, nor my boy Lucas, or even Zoe here. That girl, Evelyn, she did this. What the hell is she? Now, what did she do to you? She infected us with her gift. That's what she calls it. I found her near a busted out tank in the bayou. Everything changed after that. So she infects you and then she takes control? No. Not exactly, son. She just... She forces her way into your mind, your soul. You can't fight back. You are connected to her and you can't resist the urge to... You're a little different person after that. Just like Mia. And so Mia sent me that message because of Evelyn. Listen, uh, the girl just wants a family of her own. She's the key, all right? You find her and you stop her. Ethan. Free my family. Please. So I was right. In some aspect. I wasn't completely right, obviously, but the infection pushes a part of you down. Away from him. Why? He doesn't love you. I can make him love you. Don't. Don't hurt him. Silly, I told you I'm not going to hurt him. Don't you dare. So what? <laughs> You're not my mommy. Remember? Can I do that? I can't do anything right now. Oh, no. Yeesh. <laughs> oh, hey, okay. Hi! Hello! Oh, no. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Mia, Mia, how? There's no time. You have... To get out of here and find her. Uh -oh. Here, take this. What? <sighs> wait, wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? Saving your life. You need to go. I won't be able to resist for much longer. Wait, I thought she was cured. Now go kill that little bitch. I thought she was cured. No. Mia! No! Cured her. Uh, like I saw through the window, she was turning back to like her her infected self. What the fuck? My hands still kind of take down Evelyn. That's my only goal here. Well, goddamn it! Okay, all the supplies. Bitch. Where the fuck are you? Yeah, where the fuck are you? Oh, damn it. It was a red herring, me collecting all those supplies. It was just to throw me off. Jeez. It's all your fault. Eh, maybe. I don't know. At least I tried, you know? I'll take that to heart, because that's what really matters here. Jeez. All right, then. Well, this looks spooky. That's so weird. So when I was in that goop, I got... A glimpse into the hive mind of the fungus where the father's natural consciousness was. And Zoe was there too. So they're infected, but they're also a part of this. Like they're a part of something bigger. Not bigger in a good way, but bigger in a very bad way. Bigger in a very bad way. Yeesh. Oh, okay. Is that an Umbrella Corporation helicopter? Yeah, I don't know about that one. Yeesh. That's so weird. But that's fascinating. The father was there and he was just saying like, God, 
I mean, what must it be like to have something just completely take you over? And I didn't notice the dead fish at first. Thing. Uh, hey, okay, this seems final. Oh, this seems like the march to my death. Which is usually what happens towards the end of a game like this. Yeesh. 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 Hello. Okay, skadoosh. I'm gonna pass on by and hope for the best. Oh, mama. Oh, mama. Okay. Am I gonna get a gun or anything or... Oh, I can carry more items. Good! Oh, that's handy. I got no items to carry. Ooh, enhanced gun ammo. February 18th, 1892. There was a collapse in the Patterson mine. Du Tuin and Beckford are dead, and Huxley will never walk on his own again. Old man Stan was right. The ground here is too unstable. Uh, February 19th. The company's not going to send us any replacements. They want us to work double shifts instead. I can't wait to get back to the old country. Well, that doesn't seem fun. Abercrombie Salt Mine, South Delvey. Hello. Ooh. Hello. Oh, that that is 100% Umbrella Corporation. But this is an old photo. Are they watching us from that helicopter? I don't know. Is that why no one went in to the ship? They've just been watching this whole situation the whole time to see how it develops and maybe see if anyone was actually going to take care of the things. Hello? Alpha 1, this is Bravo 1. Do you read? This is Alpha 1. Report. Did you find anything? A thorough search of the Baker property revealed zero survivors. Repeat, zero survivors. We did find evidence of a skirmish. Evelyn? Negative. However, we did find several encrypted messages from the Baker's son, Lucas, to an unknown third party. You can probably guess who that was. That's just great. We've had reports using the abandoned mine south of the property. I'm gonna go have a look. Roger that. We'll meet you at those coordinates. Wait. If you encounter Evelyn, orders are shoot to kill. Repeat, shoot to kill. Jesus. I mean, I agree. Oh, what the fuck is that? Ship Swamp Lab? So there was a lab here. But why? Why was there a lab here? The ship crashed here by chance. It wasn't intentionally here. Evelyn went crazy and caused the ship to crash. So there must have been a reason, right? I mean, right? That That's my understanding of this. There must have been a reason, right? Because it couldn't... You've taken me of things. Thank you. Okay, that's good. That does help me. But I am short like one bag. I didn't get the bag that Mia got, but oh well. You know what? It's all right. Okay, so I've got six antique coins. I'm going to save real quick because suddenly... The things are here. The the birds' cages that I thought were total bullshit are suddenly here. So, what this does is it's steroids. Increase max health indefinitely or stabilizer. Reloading speed increases indefinitely. And I don't know about you, but the thing I hate most about Ethan and Mia is they are slow as shit to reload. My health hasn't been too big of an issue. If I just am stupid, that's the only time that I die. So in my mind, this costs five, the other costs three, so I can only get one of these. It must be this one, right? Yeah, the fact that I'm not using the Magnum is kind of a bit of a shitty thing, but, you know, I should have... I didn't know, I just... it looked good! I saw the word Magnum and I assumed big and powerful! Who was I to think that it wouldn't be that? Relaxes muscle and reduces stress, making reload faster. Effect lasts indefinitely. Owie! Cool, I guess. So how fast is this reload? Let's try. Oh, that's way better! Oh, that's so much better. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's delightful. Whoa, okay, 120 machine gun ammo. Holy hell, I guess I'm definitely using the machine gun now. I've got more than a full stack of it, hot tits. Okay, so we got just enough time to see what's on the other side of this door. I don't know how close we are to the end of this game, but we gotta go through a lab to get there, so let's make our way down and just see what the fuck is going on. So to review, I've got my knife, my gun, my machine gun, my shotgun, psycho stimulants, uh, corrosive, just in case. I don't know if I need it, but you never know. I've got BAMs, I've got ammo out the wazoo, I've got lock picks, I've got whatever the hell's in this thing, and I've got burner fuel that I don't need. Why don't I have that in there? Okay, I don't need that. Fuck that. Get the fuck out of here. All right. And then, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop one of these bad boys because I like the way they make me feel. 
And they, oh, what the fuck is over here? Hello? How about, oh, yeah. Hey, thank you. And mag, was that magnum ammo? God damn it, why is it giving me magnum ammo? I don't want that. And what did I miss in here? The fuck did I, oh, I don't need that. I gotta hurry up. I run out. I'm running out of drugs. All right, here we go. Let's go down here. I feel safe. What's this? God, how many items? Are... Jesus. How many items are they gonna get? Oh my god. Well, let's make some bullets, I guess. Well, that's weird. I'll be with you in a second. I gotta take care of some things. Now I am good, and now I can go, and now I'm still on drugs, hopefully. Alright, I see nothing. Oh, hey, I see you over there. What are you doing? Trying to get me not to press that button? Is that a special button? You can't stop me! Neither can you! Nor can you! Ow, oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Well, he blasted. Fuck that, yeah. How many of you are there? Alright, fine. Did I clear all the rest of you down? God damn it, how many drugs do you want me to take? How many chem fluids can I possibly handle? How much machine gun ammo do one person need? Shotgun shells. Batman smells. Robin laid an herb. I don't need that. Well, fuck, I guess I'm going back again. Now I'm going. Now I'm gonna go. Now I've got this. All right, here we go. I'm gonna go down there. I'm gonna see what the fuck is up. Sorry for all the long preparation. I feel like it took me way longer than it needed to do to get to this point, but I took my sweet time because I wanted to make sure I was totally prepared, but this seems like completely final. But I'm still trying to figure out why is there a lab underneath this swamp? What corporation was doing this? If it was an Umbrella. I'm not ruling out the possibility that this was an Umbrella Corporation. But I'm beginning to think that maybe, maybe, just maybe, Umbrella Corporation had competitors. It is not too far beyond the pale for that to happen. Like, it is totally legitimate for there to be, like, just complete and utter competitors, you know, in the same exact type of science. Maybe, maybe not in the same specific way. But similar competitors? Definitely. That could definitely happen. But, uh, what that means, I do not know. Any others? Any Lucas? You being a big son of a bitch over here? Habuki! Well, that was risky. That could have been a booby trap. Oh, hey, a booby trap. Alright, let me just get some distance here. Habu! Nice! I got some shrapnel up my ass, but I feel okay. Can I do this? Okay. Just, okay, didn't hurt me in the least. So Lucas is definitely down here, and I have a funny feeling that I'm gonna be hitting Lucas next. Ooh. Hey, yeah, monsters are here! Oh, hey. I should have saved some crap for you. Hey, stop it. Stop that. Stop that. Hey, stop that. Don't. I do not need him. Stop twitching. You are so goddamn weird. Alright. Yeah, I definitely should have saved some of that for them because that would have made my life a lot easier. I wouldn't have wasted so many bullets. Like, I forgot, I gotta use the handgun. I just like. Just kinda like shooting him with that. Oh, there's no return here! Pavoski. <sighs> Alright, here we go. What other dark secrets lie waiting for me? Oh, hello, I forgot. I was still on drugs. Alright, this is. Whoa. Hey, where the fuck did you come from? <laughs> Mess me. Sucked ass. I wasn't ready for him. Need to put goop juice on my face. <laughs> that was the good stuff. I'm at 100%. God damn it, mag ammo. I'm not gonna even. Uh, I'll pick it up. I'll probably drop it if I pick up anything else because I literally can't do anything else. Alright, I'm gonna take this and then I'm actually gonna skedaddle. Right, fuck it, let's go! Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, let's go! If I can get down through my shotgun ammo, maybe I'll think about replacing it with something else. Stop. You're not dead! Stop it! Die! 
Oh, God damn it! will not die. It will not die. Like, holy shit. Good God. What the fuck is wrong with this guy? You done? You done. That guy was, like, ridiculously tough. I really gotta hit him in the head more. Push this, maybe? Yep, push this. Hey, this is an old Half-Life trick. I remember this. It's a physics engine. Okay, all right, we're good. We're still good. I see you there. Ooh, hello. Where am I? What is that? I forgot I'm on drugs again. Neuro rounds. I don't have the grenade launcher. Nice. Yeah. It's kind of spoopy around here. booby trap. There was a reason I was shooting those things. It wasn't just because I moved the knife away from my hotbar and I was lazy. Definitely not that. But what do we have here? Thanks to you guys, it's been about a week since my head's been clear and back to normal, and she still thinks she's got me. You guys really need to work on fixing that. Not only does she look like a little kid, but she's about as stupid as one, too. Whoa. Mom and Dad are still totally under, though. I was wondering, is this whole family obsession something you guys programmed into her? It's kind of fucked up. That bitch Mia is still somewhere in between Evie La La Land and reality. She gets pretty violent, so I locked her up in a cell. I thought maybe Evelyn would get mad since Mia's her favorite and all, but she doesn't seem to care. She actually goes and visits her sometimes. She thinks Mia's her mommy. Like I said, your bioweapon is fucked up. Evelyn's family obsession is getting out of hand. She's making everyone kidnap more and more assholes off the street to add to her freak show of a family. Maybe she's getting tired of Mia not coming around, but it's a pain in the ass for me because I gotta clean up the mess whenever someone new comes along. By the way, Evie's looking sick or something. Her skin is getting all wrinkly and she's getting gray hairs. Is that supposed to happen? It's like she's getting old all of a sudden. Oh. It's like she's getting old all of a sudden. Wait, who's grandma? Papa never mentioned grandma. No one's ever mentioned grandma. Grandma has mysteriously appeared everywhere. The fuck is grandma her? Is that her real physical form? Has that been it this whole time? Because if it has, what the fuck? That would be fucking unreal. And also, Lucas is cured? What the fuck? How did that happen? I guess. Whatever company's been doing this, I'm guessing Umbrella Corp. I'm guessing it's Umbrella. Let's just say it's Umbrella, but... Man, that's crazy. Okay, some sort of infection report. Mold, I see. I can't really read the rest of it. This detail reports symptoms that appear when bacterium that grows inside the E-Series infects a human. Be sure to read this document thoroughly before de dealing with E-Series weaponized assets, here hereafter referred to as mold. Initial infection. The mold ingests nutrients from the subject's body to propagate itself. It slowly takes over cells within the body. As a side effect of this, the infected subject gains remarkable regenerative abilities. During experiments, we removed arms and legs from the test subjects and found that they were able to co-op the amputated limbs in a matter of minutes. Once the mold reaches the brain, the subject's thoughts become in tune with those of the E-Series asset. The subject starts to hear things and experience hallucinations. It soon comes under complete control of the E-Series asset. If this state continues, the host will lose all sense of ego. After every cell in the body has been taken over by the mold, the subject begins to lose their human form. Physical mutations differ from case to case, but all result in him or her acquiring incredible physical strength. Containing a subject at this stage would be extremely difficult. So... I want to say, Lucas is not cured because he had his hand cut off at dinner and obviously he was, he grew it back eventually. But, he is not under Evie's control anymore and it appears that these tests are going on. Ten minutes after dose death and she's still there. 
Five minutes, minutes after dose vomiting, 12 minutes after dose cell calf calcification. Well, she's not dead, that's obvious. Oh, this is so bizarre. So Lucas was helping them. Lucas was the one that was a part of all this. And apparently I acquired a target, I don't know why. Oh. Oh, fuck. E-necrotoxin. Destroy cells of any subject based on the E-series bioweapon model. Use only for disposal of E-series assets. The toxin must first be stimulated before use. Do this by placing a sample of the E-series cells into the necrotoxin chamber. I have that right here. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, well, I got that. That's awfully nice. Good for me. Oh, man. Goody, goody gumdrops. Well, at least now I'm equipped to kill this old lady. And I'm, I, I'm willing to bet money. I'm willing to bet money. That's what this is. That's what this is. The old lady has been Eevee this whole time. Just no one's noticed. This project was instigated in 2000 as one of several concepts for the company's Nexbus, Next Generation Experimental Battlefield Superiority Initiative, working with technical assistance from HCF to develop a bioweapon for neutralizing combatants en masse with minimal direct contact. Nexbus was later folded and all its assets diverted to this project. Whatever, what makes this project markedly different from conventional weapons is its ability to turn enemy combatants into allies, converting hostile elements into willing servants. Since this effectively eliminates the cost of not only POW handling, but also combat itself, it's no wonder we had the blank, and even blank's blank, organization chomping at the bit to get on board. The project would never have existed were it not for the discovery in blank of blank, the remarkably progressed vicarian evolution fungus that we commonly term the mutamocyte. The fabrication method for each bioweapon was to introduce the mutamocyte genome to a pre-stage 4 human embryo and perform cultivation in a controlled environment over a period of 38 to 40 weeks. The resultant organisms were referred to as candidate specimens and graded based on usability from, from the impractical and faulty series A through D to the perfected E series. A common appearance was selected for bioweapons, that of a roughly 10-year-old girl, to ensure ease of blending in with urban refugee populations. The first E-series specimen, named Evelyn, has proven capable of secreting the mutamocyte blank from her tissue at will. It is also of note that Evelyn's mutamocyte imposes a profound control over body and mind when introducing the host organism. We still have a lot to learn about the mechanism by which Evelyn achieves and maintains his control, but the working theory is that the vector is similar to an auto-inducer pheromones used for quorum sensing in pseudomonas, pseudomonas bacteria. Evelyn's control is exerted in a series of discrete stages, the first of which is hallucination. Almost immediately after infection, the subject begins to see images of Evelyn, though she is not in fact there, and even hear her voice, which is audible to anyone else. Auditions with infected subjects throughout the stages of infection reveal that at first, the phantom Evelyn appears to be a normal young girl, sometimes desiring companionship or assistance. As time progresses, she begins making more and more extreme demands including self-mutilation and attacks on other people. The psychological shock this induces helps to break down the mind's natural barriers to Evelyn's brainwashing effect. And by the time mental control is achieved, the mutamocyte infection has progressed throughout the body's cells, so the body... Blah, 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 blah. Well, that's fascinating. That's really fascinating. So, this is why... This is why, I think, in my opinion, no one has come for this ship. They created this lab, and either Lucas was already working for the corporation, or Lucas was, you know, broken free from the control and then used to study the organization at the, uh, at the benefit of his family being freed from this. And he wanted that very badly, so that's why this lab was set up underneath the farm to observe all this happening. Evelyn's functions also include the ability to form organisms of mycelia, the fungal filaments. The term organism is used loosely here. Strictly speaking, they are superorganisms formed of countless mycelia. What's important, though, is that they exhibit a strong survival instinct and will defend themselves ferociously with the slightest prog provocation. Their fungal toughness and 
remarkable strength give them significant battlefield potential. The researchers have been calling these superorganisms the molded, made of mold, and also molded as in shape. The name has a certain elegance to it. For the treatment of accidental infections, performing blank on samples of Evelyn's body tissue produces a unique fungicidal serum. Administering the serum to an infected subject will cause the mycelia to calcify. But if the subject's cells are already largely invaded, the serum will be fatal. Since the treatment window is so small, the serum's primary use is therefore disposal of infected subjects rather than a cure. In exploring the serum's potential, we found that subjecting it to blank would enhance its effects to extreme potency, becoming a compound we now call e-necrotoxin, which blank in even tiny amounts. What's been interesting to observe in Evelyn's behavior is her obsession with the concept of family. In experiments, we found on multiple occasions that infected subjects were compelled to act as her mother and father, treating her as if she were really their daughter. Why did she settle upon family as the theme of her mental control? This is just speculation, but it could be that she instinctively understands that a family unit is better suited to blending into social groups than a lone girl. On the other hand, well, a sentimental sort might suggest that she's making up for a perceived lack of love in her quarantined upbringing, a parent's love. Interesting. God, it's so weird. They're just dumping all this data on this. They're dumping all this. Woo. Okay. They're dumping all this information on us. Oh, God damn it. Well, how close am I to the end? How close am I to the end? Is this it or what? Jeez, I don't know. Okay, so it seems like we're very, very, very close to the end of the game, but even if... Even if the boss is around the next corner, there's more stuff that I want to do because I want to find out so much more, like, about this. The thing about this game that makes me really interested in it is it's got a really intriguing world. I have no idea what's going on in here, and I know that all the answers are being laid out for me, but I have so many more questions! Was Evie the old lady this whole time? Because I'm starting to believe that. Like, what sort of control does this have? Who is the corporation in charge of this? I'm thinking now it's Umbrella Corporation, but what if there's a different corporation there that's what the notes were kind of hinting at. And also, since when did they go for mold and fungus instead of just viruses? I guess they're trying to diversify their assets here. And also, was there other endings that I could get to? Did I have a choice with the father? What would have happened if I picked Zoe? I got a lot of unanswered questions, but just not enough time in this episode to get to them. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Let me know what you think of this down in the comments below. Let me know what your theory is about this whole world that they're in, how this ties into the greater Resident Evil universe, because if you all remember in Resident Evil, there's kind of a zombie apocalypse happening. So is this like a side universe or is this an alternate universe? Is this the same universe, but they kind of recovered from it? What the fuck happened? Raccoon City was a not real city, and yet we're actually in Louisiana. What's going on here? What does this all mean? It's in a year that's obviously farther ahead than the other games, but yeah, I don't know. Well, hopefully we get these answers. But either way, thanks again, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!